Hello everyone, in today's video, we are diving into the world of scooters. As new brands energy with battery swapping or flexible changing solutions, we want to know, can GoGoRo maintain its lead? To finding out, we will explore the perspective of three types of scooter user, GoGoRo i1X and traditional gas-powered scooters, through interviews and analysis. Let's get it started. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are talking about scooters. Yes, those two waiters let's get us through the city. But not just any scooters. We are comparing Gogoro, i1x scooter and gas scooters. Which is smarter, faster or more convenient for urban commuters? I heard you are using Gogoro scooter. Can I ask you a few quick questions? Of course. First question: What may you choose a Gogoro scooter over other options? Uh, definitely the battery swapping system. It's fast, convenient, and I never have to worry about waiting hour to charge my scooter. How did you feel about using Go Station for battery swapping? Oh, I love it. Go Station are everywhere in the city. I can easily swap my battery in second and keep going. Wow! How did you feel about the battery battery subscription service? Oh, the subscription is rotted. It's affordable, give me ultimate battery swap, and save me from unexpected expenses. Mm, the final question, would you recommend GoGoRo to other commuters? Oh, absolutely. It's eco-friendly, saves me time, and the subscription model made it affordable. Oh, thank you! <laughs> thank you, you're welcome! Yeah. So, bye, bye bye bye! Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the GoGoRo Go Station platform. A groundbreaking solution that is revolutionizing battery swapping for electric two-wheelers. As we have discussed, the Go Station platform is designed to provide a seamless and efficient user experience. With the Google applications, riders can easily locate nearby Go stations, check the availability of batteries, and even schedule maintenance, all from the convenience of their smartphones. These integrations of technology not only simplify the battery swapping process, but also enhance the overall user experience. The Smart Gen system plays a crucial role in this platform. By utilizing AI power management to optimize battery distribution and availability, this means that users can rely on real-time data to ensure they already have access to fully charged battery when they need them. The seamless swapping process is quick and intuitive, making it easy for everyone to transition to electric mobility. Additionally, the subscription model offers flexibility and cost efficiency, allowing users to choose plans that best fit their need. With dynamic pricing and discount available at green price stations, Gogoro is making electric transportation not only more accessible but also more affordable. Moreover, the Go Station platform is committed to sustainability by encouraging the use of electric two-wheelers over traditional gas scooters. It significantly reduces environmental impact, lower fuel and maintenance costs, and promotes a cleaner urban environment. The platform interoperability with other manufacturers further expand its reach, creating a unified network that benefits all users. So, in conclusion, the Go Station platform is more than just a battery swapping solution. It represents a shift toward a more sustainable and efficient future for urban transportation. We hope this presentation has inspired you to consider the benefits of electric mobility and the innovative solution that Google offers. Hello. Yeah. yeah. I heard you are the Kinko i1x scooter user, right? Yes, I am. Can I ask you some questions? Um, okay, you can. The first question: uh, Why did you choose Kinko i1x over other electric scooter brands like Gogoro? Uh, I choose i1x for its flexible charging. Uh, I can charge at home, and which is more convenient. 
I trust Kinko reliable service. Oh, the next question: Do you charge the battery at home or use the public station? Which one is more convenient? Hmm, I mainly charge at home because it fits my schedule. I occasionally use public stations during long rides. Oh, the next question: How has you thinking for I want X attract your daily routine? Uh, it's quicker, cleaner, and safe trips to gas station, but I need to plan my rides to avoid running out of the battery. Oh, the final question: Have you considered switching to another electric scooter brand like Gogoro? Uh, I have thoughts about it, but Gogoro's reliance on swapping station isn't as convenient for me. Uh, Kinko's flexibility works better. Oh, thank you! Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Next, I will introduce i1x three different charging pilot formats. The first one is Shell Socket Station, which is the most basic charging function. Most of them are located near parking lots and the gas stations, making these sites suitable for daily commuters. The second one is the fast charging station, which is designed to fully charge the battery in one hour. Most are located in daily traffic intensive points suitable for consumers with long distance and emergency needs the third one is in energy exchange station which can directly exchange a battery in the store most of them are located next to the directly operated motorcycle shops here how i compared the two brands i1x and gogoro first limited charging options gogoro relies mainly on its battery swapping network go station but also offer limited as home charging options in contrast i1x by kinko provides both swapping and home charging catering to varied consumers needs second Potential cost concerns. While Gogoro has released more affordable models, its initial pricing was higher. I1X focuses on the low cost battery tech. It may give it a cost advantage. Third, competition from traditional manufacturers. While Gogoro holds strong market share, Kinko's established consumer space and manufacturer expertise, along with I1X used by scooter rental companies, expand its competitive reach. Overall, I think I1X are more competitive than Gogoro. Hello! <laughs> Gasoline scooter used right? Yes. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. The first one: Are you satisfied with your current gasoline scooter? Oh yeah, it's great. Um, comfortable, powerful, and perfect for long trips. Refueling is quick, and it handles any terrain. The downside: um, high fuel cost and frequent maintenance. Oh, the next. Do changes in gasoline price attract your use? Oh, yes, uh, higher gas price lead to less riding, and still motorcycle remain cost efficient. Oh, have you even considered switching to electric scooters? Oh yes, but limited battery life, charging issue, and high cost may lend less particle for now. Hmm, the final question is the government bans gasoline scooter or subsidized electric ones. Will you change? Yes. If subsidies and charging infrastructure improve, I will switch it for environmental benefits. Oh, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I currently ride a gasoline scooter. 
I have been drawn to Gogoro for its innovative and eco-friendly feature. Today, I will share why Gogoro stands out and compare it with gasoline scooter to show why it's worth considering. Gogoro offers several benefits that set it apart from gasoline scooter. First, environmental impact. Gogoro produces zero emissions, reducing pollution and combating global warming. Gasoline scooter harm the environment with high emissions. Second, convenient battery swapping. Gogoro offers fast, easy battery swapping in seconds. Gasoline scooter need frequent gas station visits, which can be less convenient. Third, cost efficiency. Gogoro use cheaper electricity and require less maintenance. Gasoline scooter have higher fuel cost and frequent upkeep. Four, performance. Gogoro provides smooth quite right with a modern design. Gasoline scooter are noisier but better for long trip. Five. Technology integration. Gogoro includes smart features like apps and GPS. Gasoline scooter lack advanced technology. 6. Initial cost and saving. Gogoro costs more upfront but save on fuel and maintenance. Gasoline scooter are cheaper initially but cost long term. Last. Government support. Gogoro benefit from subsidy and incentive. Gasoline scooter rarely receive financial support. In conclusion, Gogoro of a cleaner, smarter, and more convenient future for transportation. Its eco-friendliness and advanced feature make it a great choice. Thank you. In the end, how you see this market depends on your rule. Whether it's competition or cooperation, they are not fixed boundaries. What is clear is that flexibility and innovation will be key to staying ahead in this dynamic industry. Finally, let's welcome our three interviews today to help us to do a conclusion. Welcome the first one! Hello everyone! I want X users appreciate the flexibility of charging its home or swapping battery at I want X stations, offering them more options to suit their lifestyles. But now, let's hear from Google users and see what tips they loyal to their choice. Okay, I say Google user, I like Google Home because it's easy to charge and charge your phone. My first thing what gasoline user have to say. Uh, gasoline scooter user are drawn to Gogoro for its convenience and eco friendliness, but still ready against their need for practicality and quick refueling. Thanks everyone to join us today and Smarter, faster, and more convenient! Yay! Go! Go! Run! Hello, everyone! Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you! Oh, it's so calm! Oh, bye bye! bye. Okay, this one. Below this. Hello. Hello. I'm you. I'm heard you are using Google Scooter. May I can pull out the something right? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, <laughs> 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 